Hello everybody and welcome back. In these videos we are going to look at the application programmer interfaces or alternatively the application programming interfaces that Unreal Engine provides you so that you could design modular functionalities within your game and these functionalities and these application programming interfaces or APIs cover a host of different tools and topics. What APIs are, are effectively functionalities that are encapsulated into little modules that perform very basic and core functionalities. And each of these module APIs within Unreal Engine 4 are kind of modularized and compartmentalized so that you could have access to them and include them from within your project when you need such an API included. What we are going to do in this section is to learn several different APIs that your Unreal Engine gives you to perform the functionalities that you need within your game. And I'm breaking these down into five different APIs that we're going to cover. And there's a lot more. And I urge you to look into the Unreal Engine documentations online to learn more about other APIs that we don't cover here. But just to give you a good overview of different types of APIs, we are going to look at two core APIs, core logging API and the math API. The logging API allows you functionalities to send messages in the Unreal Engine editor's log window. And the math API provides you mathematical functionalities and tools such as rotations, quaternions, and other types of math operations. Landscape APIs allows you to work with landscapes. And landscapes are basically terrains for outdoor environments um, in Unreal Engine. The Foliage API allows you to populate your level with foliages, which you can think of as brushes and trees in, and bushes in your level. And finally, we'll go over the Gameplay APIs, which gives you certain gameplay functionalities, such as providing several types of attributes to your players, such as their health, their mana, their magic amounts, buffing your player, and stuff like that. So we're going to cover these topics in, in these videos. So for now, let's take a look at Core Logging API and see what kind of functionalities we have at our disposal with this API here. Again, just like we have done so far, we are going to take several steps to work on our project and implement such functionalities from the Logging API. First, we're going to take a look at what is an API and what a Logging API does, how you can include an API in your project, which is a very important linking step that you have to take. And then we are going to implement a custom logging functionality to provide us with custom logs utilizing the logging API of the Unreal Engine. Okay, so now let's start working on our log and creating a custom log that allows us to provide output on the output log screen of the Unreal Editor when a certain thing happens. So if you remember from the first title, one of the very first videos, we basically used the UE4 log messages to log a temporary message as a warning on the screen when the player jumped. And then we counted how many jumps the player had made and then updated this log every time the player jumped. So here we are going to basically go ahead and implement our own custom log that we will utilize in the game. Before we do that, let me talk about a certain linking step that you would have to take to include certain APIs that you are going to be utilizing in your game. So if you look at the project files that we have, the name of the project is called Unreal Scripting Basic. And if you scroll in all of the Unreal Scripting Basics project files that we have created so far, you will notice a couple of C-sharp files. And one of them is called Unreal Scripting Basic.build.cs. This C-sharp file, if you open it up, it will show you the module rules that are included within the building and linking of our game, which is now called Unreal Scripting Basic. Okay? Now, if you look at the public dependency module names, there are certain modules that are added. And for example, core module is added, which gives us the core functionalities for our core API, such as logging, messaging, uh, math and things like that, the core U object, the engine, the input core, which allows us to perform certain input tasks, the head mounted display API, the AI module, which we have created in the first section of our second video title, and finally the gameplay tasks API that are added here, and we are going to work on these 
later on in our game in this video. So this is where you add your APIs when you want to add them and work with them in your game. So core is already added so we can perform our logging functionalities. What we are going to do is I'm going to go ahead and declare my logging functionality in the main header file of my project which is Unreal Scripting Basic. You need to do that as well. This header file is included in all of my files and therefore if I declare my message my custom log here it is going to be included in all of the files and the projects in my game so that I can utilize them. So the first step that we are going to do is to declare a log category. So we are going to add the declaration of our, our, our custom log right after the include engine.h and before the end if of my defined macro here. I'm going to call this log my log and we're going to make it a log message and for its verbosity I'm going to make this verbosity to be all. So the three things that are going to be utilized here in the definition the first is the category name. Basically this log category gives a name to your log message so that you can utilize it in the UE log macro to call upon it. The default verbosity basically sets the default verbosity of the message to be used and finally the compile time verbosity which basically we are going to make it all. Okay. Now that we have this we are going to go to the implementation of my Unreal scripting basic and then define this log category. I've declared it in the header file and I'm going to define it now in the implementation file here. So basically in the scripting.h I declared log category external my log with its verbosities and in the Unreal Scripting Basic.cpp I defined the log category my log. Now we can go ahead and utilize this log or my log so that we can send messages on the output log of the editor. So I'm going to go and open the C++ file of my character. It's where my character jumps and then I'm going to scroll down to find the jump function of my character which is right here and towards the end of this jump function I'm going to send three log messages out whenever my character jumps. So I'm going to say UE log use my log and as a display type in or rather log this text out on the screen and the text says a message displayed in display mode when I jump. Okay, so we are going to also send another message through my log and this time I'm going to make it a warning message and we're going to send the text a warning message is displayed when I jump and we are going to also send out to UE4 log an error message and we're going to make the text of that message to be an error is displayed when I jump. Now that we have these we compile and after my level is compiled we are going to go to the editor and make the character jump to see these log messages displayed. Alright so my code is compiled and we're going to play the level and I'm going to show you what happens when the character jumps. So if you press the spacebar for the character to jump now you notice that at the bottom of the screen we are logging the last three lines are the three messages that we created on my log. So it says my log channel is saying that as a display mode a message is displayed when I jump. The yellow line is the my log warning that I sent out. A warning message is displayed. And then the red line says my log error and the error message is displayed. So basically this is how you can debug your code and utilize your own log channel to perform certain functionalities and log things out on the screen to see how things are going, maybe the contents of variables and stuff like that.